lovers and friends today is deepest um it's a wednesday and it's another working day good news puppy pooped this a.m puppy did not mess up on herself um in 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 her sleeping arrangement um seemed like she's back on schedule and she even went outside to the bathroom by herself <laughs> like she was trained to do months ago it has been this last month with her has been tough because she's come on her um heat then she came up with this bout of diarrhea <sighs> so i'm hoping that this is it for her anyway lovers and friends i actually had a good night's sleep surprisingly <laughs> um i had a good night's sleep as compared to the night before and i think the only difference honestly um was that we went for a little short walk yesterday so um maybe that helped so i'm gonna try to do that again um go for a walk today <sighs> really depending on how my meetings go we just walked around the block so i'm gonna try that um but right now I need to get decent because I need to have a meeting and I'm going to be the main presenter. Uh, I'm still in my PJs. So I'm just trying to be well rested and get myself together and don't look so tired. What is this? Is this bags? Oh no. Oh no. Let me see if I get myself together. Voila. I am dressed for the day. <sighs> I kind of recreated a look that I would wear pre-pregnancy or I have worn pre-pregnancy. Um, let me see how we can do this. Huh. Can y'all see? Oh yeah, y'all can see. So, um, here's my belly. <laughs> uh, this is like, I went in on getting maxi dresses, stretchy maxi dresses from Boohoo. They're like between seven and ten dollars. I got them in so many different colors in long ones. Um, this sweater is from Fashion Nova. I think if you go back, back on my channel, you'll see when I copped it. Um, and I would wear it a little bit differently. Oh, sorry. I would wear it a little bit differently, but for today, I think it works. And I just put on some pearls because I'm waiting for some more, um, gold studs to come in. I think I ordered some in Fashion Nova, like I ordered it to qualify for the free shipping. <clears throat> and that might be coming today. Um, cause you just never can, to me, you could just never have too many, too many of those. So I ran out and I just put in my pearls today. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm about to wear for my account review today. Let me revisit my list because I can't say that I, I got everything knocked off the list cause I didn't. And, uh, I didn't need to put any comp cases in. Um, I did not e-file the eviction because I think I gave her January 4th to midnight. So that is a priority today. But I started the process at least. And um, agenda for the exec meeting. So let me get on it. I'm going to add to that list um, six. I'm, I'm just making it a running list. Um, um, take pictures and send to the shipper. My mom says the guy ships every two weeks, so potentially I can get the stuff out of my house sooner, which I think is better. Um, and then seven, uh, I got my first round of invites out. I need to do the mail invitations today. Um, did 
I'm trying to think work-wise. Once after I do this account review, I need to come up with my panel, the, the questions today. And I think two or three per person is probably in all we have enough time for. So anyway, let me um, get this together. As soon as I am able to move my chase, I'm going to be able to move my desk maybe over here and then I'm going to measure here to here to see um, if I can get a futon in here. Uh, how the biggest futon I can get in here to turn this into a also a sleeping space. Uh, so um, cause I think I'm going to need that and well I don't want to say the new year because it is new year now. I think I'm going to need that. All right lovers and friends see you soon came back my bad well today is thursday oh my goodness um yesterday my account review went very well um and i got some really good feedback and um you know some good suggestions um around some things so that was good um whew. Um, and then I just ended up being hungry, so I ordered some Mediterranean wraps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They hit me. They, they was good enough to hit the spot. Um, then it was just really a chill day. Caught up with my baby shower committee about some some outstandings, and um, yeah, we good. Um, yeah, be good. But anyway, so it was kind of just a boring close. I probably close out the vlog today, not this year, but um, I did not sleep through the night today. I did not get a chance to take a walk yesterday either. Um, I went to bed maybe like 11 and I woke up again at like 5 a.m., let the puppy out. She had a whole bunch of P accidents yesterday. Uh, um, so I don't know if I gotta worry about her being hydrated anymore. Um, but I cut her off from water at five, no accidents overnight. Um, but also it was kind of like wet yesterday, so I didn't really want to take her out and I really didn't want to go for a walk either. But anyway, um, for today, I'm about to oh, get decent. <sighs> Sorry, I keep yawning in y'all face. I'm about to get decent and I have a doctor's appointment. I'm gonna try to take some clips um on my phone. I definitely cannot take um this with me and I have to be sick with that because they have a lot a lot of um rules about um no no phones and sh stuff like that. Um then I really uh want some granola. <laughs> So I can eat some yogurt. That's I like I like like parfait style crunchy crunchy you know style, but not like a lot of fruit in it. Just simple, you know, vanilla. Um, with like some granola in it, maybe blueberry, maybe a strawberry. You know, not a lot of whole bunch of stuff in it. So I've been wanting to do that, and then when I put in my Instacart order. They said it was out, but I just know so many things he just didn't look for. I gave him one star. <laughs> if I could take back my tip, I would have. Um, um, from that perspective, I was going to do like an Instacart pickup, but they ain't available till Friday. I, I did it too, I guess, too late. So I'm just going to run inside the store and get my granola because that's really what I only thing I want. And I'm really trying to work on not overbuying. Oh, okay. Granola and then maybe some milk. Um, almond milk. Oh, man, my lashes. I got a lash appointment. I got three lashes on here. She gonna be mad. <laughs> um, they did not last as long as they did previously, but I did go to Africa, and I think, um, that that impacted it um <clears throat> so yeah uh good news i finally heard back from gw i i'm hearing back from their ob practice 
not their midwife practice. However, I'm hopeful that like what I read online is that they're very collaborative around supporting you around natural birth. And really, um, as long as I have access and the ability to do um, water birth and all of the things that they have available in the room and, and birth how I want to, then, you know, um, I'll just, I just lean more on my doula. I do have one doula interview today, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and all of that. But, um, lovers and friends, I am going to, I think I'm still going to pack y'all. Um, but, um, I don't know when I'm going to be able to pull you out. But let me get ready. I think, um, if I do get there early, I'm going to run into all these first and get a few things and then run to my doctor's appointment and then run home. I need to look at my schedule today. All right, lovers and friends, see you soon. Happy Thursday. Hey, lovers and friends. I am leaving the hospital now from my checkup. Like I said, um, they have like real strong signage about recording and cell phones and things of that nature. So I didn't even try it, but mm, on my way out here, I did, um, I ran a few errands. I went to UPS to drop off my Rent the Runway, which I'm ending soon. Um, they just really got on my nerves with how they were handling my account best way to get home i think that way um oh, i could go that way no i'm gonna go this way um so i'm ending it soon and uh then i went to aldi's and uh try to grab qu a, a, a few quick things but um i'm on this group you know black girls who love aldi's group and someone had posted the other day about like how Aldi has their version of Simply Lemonade. Um, I'm not really a big juice drinker until I became pregnant. I, be, I started getting into juice for some or whatever reason. Um, especially orange juice. Orange juice was my shit my first trimester for real. And, um, and then I use it sometimes when I get that feeling that I, I really do want to um make a smoothie i use orange juice but anyway so i grabbed the orange juice and then i saw what what she was talking about they had the regular lemonade and they had strawberry lemonade they had one strawberry lemonade left i grabbed that joint i said why not um they did have my peach pear lacroix but i went in there with no cart i just thought i was gonna be grabbing my granola i did get my granola and um yeah so I think that's you know that was the win for today in terms of all these and things of that nature now in terms of my appointment um, when I could not sleep this morning when I got up at 5 a.m. I got online and tried to fill out everything in the portal because in my head I was like it's a new year they're gonna be on like revalidating your shit and I don't really like I don't like coming there because I think, one, it's a waste of time. Two, you know, COVID is an all-time high. So, like, I really don't want to be going anywhere. <laughs> uh, you know, foreign, if you will. Um, es you know, especially that. And then they be having you wait. Like, I, and I don't have patience. So, I had a 1030 appointment. I did get there at 1037. As soon as I sit down, she asking for, like, all this information I said well look I I did all this stuff online she was like oh well we have to revalidate everything because it's a new year what the fuck is the point like so we did all that or ordeal then um they had me waiting 45 50 minutes after my appointment so I didn't get seen until like nearly 11 um 11 30 my appointment was for 10 30 Get, for, forget where I should go. Let me just keep straight. <laughs> I know keep straight work. <laughs> I believe so. Um, yeah, keep straight work. I believe. I, I think I came off of the, one of these joints, but oh well. Um. So that already put me in the mood. Luckily, the sonographer ultrasound person 
was very pleasant, was a person of of color, um, and things of that nature. And of course, you know, uh, baby scored eight out of eight, you know, on her biophysical um, exam. So this continues to me to be a waste of time and energy. But you know what? I get the 3D scan every week. They send me pictures of my baby. Um, right now you can really see her nose and her lips. I believe, I think she has my nose. We gonna, we gonna go with that. Uh, um, I had to move some meetings around, but now I'm on my way home and um, I forgot, I, I told myself to bring a protein bar and a bottle of water, but I didn't. And so I feel a little hungry, but I, since I got my granola, I'm about to smash on this yogurt. I'm so excited about that. Uh, um, hopefully it hits like how I think it's gonna hit and uh, I have one real executive meeting and then I, like I said I have my doula joint today I'm so excited that um, about this appointment next week uh, it is virtual with GW Hospital so hopefully that all goes well um, so that um, I can go ahead and transfer and have the birth experience that I want. Um, I also have my appointment, made my appointment with the pelvic floor physical therapist because folks have been telling me either you see them before, during the pregnancy or after, but you're gonna see them. And my friend said that this person, she came highly recommended um, because this person can teach you how to push effectively. So sounds like that will work for me um i'm 29 weeks today Ooh. i'm 29 weeks today um so this is my last week in my 20s and then we get into the 30s and that is vicious oh and about my um, eviction case i e-filed last night i already got feedback that i need to like re-upload stuff and do things over again so I'm gonna, um, when I get home, um, try to get online to see if I can get, talk to tech support because like all my files that I uploaded bounce back and that's confusing to me. Um, I don't know if I'm doing any, anything on my end and things, you know, things of that nature. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, lovers and friends. I will talk to you all soon. Um, yeah. See how the rest of the day goes. Maybe go for a walk. Um, again, to see if that really helps with my sleep. And um, yeah. TTYL. Hey, lovers and friends. Whew. What a day. Really. Um. I came back from my 29 week visit and um, had a little bit of time to prep for a meeting. And in sales, I would say that one of the things that I'd like to do is get to the know um, sooner rather than later. And um, that that's what happened in that meeting. And while other people will think that like, oh, that didn't go well. Um, to me, it did because it let me know that I don't have to spend my time there in that way. Um, I can go somewhere else to to find the yes. So I'm all about time kills all deals. <clears throat> and wasting time kills deals too. <laughs> kills deals too. So that's that. And then... Um, I don't know what happened. I got tired. Oh, I had my doula interview. Oh, yeah. That went really well. I, I really did kind of get a good feeling for her. Um, I think I have one or two more. Um, but really, um, she mentioned something about, like, GW turning people away. Um, or one of her um, previous clients away and ended up going to Washington Hospital Center. And um, I'm... 
I, I'm like, like that's the last thing I want to deal with. So I think, um, really, I won't be able to make a final decision until I figure out if I can really get into GW or not. I really hope so because they are like the only hospital in this area that has, um, that many birthing tubs. Um, other people have like jacuzzis and stuff, like, but they have actual birthing tubs. And that's something I really want to do. And uh, uh, within a reasonable distance uh, in my area. So I'm hoping, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing an abundant mindset to that. Is that like, there are plenty of, there are plenty of openings. Um, I will deliver like I, I just have to speak it into existence and not approach it with a scarcity mindset. Uh, what else happened? Um, and I was tired. I did get tired. Uh, I got I think I told you all my filings got rejected. And I didn't know what I got some like error about like the file wasn't working or something like that. So I redid all of the files and um sent it back everything said it uploaded uh so hopefully they got back to me pretty fast so hopefully by in the morning i'll have an update on the status but what i am if i do get that same error again i did find the help desk number so i'm just gonna call them and be like wtf what am i um doing wrong there <sighs> but I'm closing out the blog. This is the blog, the vlog here for this week. Um, entering my 29 weeks, so I think like that's a good place to to kind of end it um, and begin a new one. But I I really was trying to think about like what 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 did I do in this week to feed this thought of abundance. And one of the things that I did was, or I'm concentrating on to, to feed more abundance is, is this mindset of um, scarcity, that there isn't enough. Um, there's something I want to do in my career, and I am determined to do it, and I want to keep do, determined to get there. Yet I'm having some self talk that is like is 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 in a sense putting fear into me. Um, it maybe fear is too strong in the world, but like putting doubt into me um, from that perspective. And so I'm trying to get get that doubt out. And um, what I think I need to what it really helps me do that is to again the same thing. Sometimes it's getting to the no that points you into the direction of your yes and hurrying, hurrying up and getting to that no. So um, I think my main thing for next week, uh, along with the other things I, I did not cross off my list, is to get through some of, some of the things I do for work, um, but also to get to, get to my resume. <laughs> and I think updating it, and getting into my accomplishments and getting into defining my story will build that confidence in me. Because sometimes you just need to to stop, reflect, and capture the things you've done. Because I know I'm a badass, you know. Like I I I I hear it and I and I know it. But I think you know when I'm getting moments of doubt, I need to go back and 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 look at the things I've done. And the story I can tell. So maybe that helps somebody out there. Um, you know, let me know what y'all do when you have those moments of doubts. But we got to fight that because that's a scarcity. Um, uh, maybe scarcity um, mindset. And no, there's um, enough. <laughs> there's more than enough opportunity for me. And that opportunity will, uh, and I'm attracting that to me. All right, lovers and friends, you all have a blessed day and blessed night. Good night, and we'll see you next week. Bye.